Hello, my project is on Duchenne muscular dystrophy and a diet plan that is ideal for patients with this condition. What is Duchenne muscular dystrophy? DMD is an X-linked recessive genetic disorder that causes progressive muscle degeneration and weakness in males. This weakness is due to alterations of the protein dystrophin, which helps keep muscle cells intact. Muscular dystrophy almost always occurs in males because it is an X-linked recessive gene, and the prevalence of DMD is about 6 in 1,000, and each year between 400 and 600 boys are born with Duchenne muscular dystrophy. As you can see in the figure on the screen, Duchenne muscular dystrophy is much more common than other types, such as Becker muscular dystrophy, but unfortunately Duchenne is more fatal. Males who are affected typically will see signs in early childhood around the age of seven, and they will witness worse, rapid worsening of their motor skills, such as sitting, standing, and walking. And because of these skills that they do not have, such as sitting, standing, and walking, they are typically wheelchair dependent at a young age. Um, and the most fatal aspect of Duchenne muscular dystrophy is that it's often associated with the heart condition cardiomyopathy, which is the weakening of the cardiac muscle. And this weakening means that the heart is not able to pump blood to the rest of the body, um, which is why a lot of patients with Duchenne muscular dystrophy will only live into their 20s. And then some other symptoms will include fatigue, learning disabilities, frequent falls, and trouble getting up. Since Duchenne muscular dystrophy is a genetic disorder, right now there is no cure. Um, and so the most common treatment is steroids along with other supplements such as amino acids, carnitine, and the coenzyme Q10, which will all promote muscle strength and reduce the deterioration of muscles. Unfortunately, steroids, along with the immobility that they have, will oftentimes lead to excess weight gain, and so physical activity, when possible, will help to strengthen and reduce weight gain. And oftentimes, patients will go to physical therapy a few times a week to get in some physical activity along with stretch out their muscles. So muscular dystrophy more often affects males because, as I mentioned, it is an X-linked uh, recessive gene. And so with an XY set of chromosomes, it is more common in males. Um, so my patient is a male. He is also the age 11 because of the shortened lifespan. Patients, um, younger patients are studied more often. And he has a height of 4 feet 5 inches weighs 95 pounds, a BMI of 23 kilograms per meter squared, and he has a sedentary lifestyle. Compared to most boys of this age, patients with Duchenne muscular dystrophy will on average be shorter, have an increased weight and BMI because of the more sedentary lifestyle and the reduced physical activity and energy expenditures. While eating can be a challenge, getting sufficient calories is very important in order to reduce the risk of further muscle breakdown and to reduce the risk, risk of weight gain. Unfortunately, sometimes getting these nutrients can be hard because you need foods that are easy to swallow, easy to chew, um, and oftentimes patients will have a lack of appetite because of the fatigue. And so making sure that they're getting nutrients, but also getting nutrients that will help them in the long run is really important. Oftentimes a registered dietitian is a part of the patient's care team just because of how important it is to be getting the right diet. And as I mentioned, the nutrients that they need will need to be in ways that are easy to swallow. And so soft foods are really important. And in extreme cases, a feeding tube could be necessary, but oftentimes, soft foods and foods that are easy to swallow will be most beneficial. So what does a well-balanced meal look like? A well-balanced meal would want to be very high in protein because um, proteins are required for muscle regeneration and muscle repair. Um, and so you also want more lean meats such as fish and poultry um, and eggs, vegetable, beans, and soy. So those proteins will 
be the healthiest and they will also provide the largest amount of protein in one serving. As for carbohydrates, preferred carbohydrates include whole grains, non-starchy vegetables, and fruits because these carbohydrates will provide energy while also being healthy. And you also want to consume a lot of healthy fats such as salmon, nuts, and vegetable oil. And you want to make sure to reduce the amount of saturated and trans fat that you have in the diet and consume more uh, and consume less saturated fats. Along with that, you are going to want a low fiber, a high fiber diet because it will reduce constipation and it will help to digest foods better because the GI tract can also witness some muscle deterioration. And some of the most important vitamins that, and minerals that you need are calcium and vitamin D. So calcium can include milk, cheese, yogurt, and leafy greens. And vitamin D is dairy, fish, and sunlight. And sunlight is a really important one because getting these patients outside will all, not only promote physical activity, but it'll also get them to these higher levels of vitamin D that's really important for their muscle regeneration. And lastly, you want to make sure to follow a very low sodium diet because high sodium can contribute to muscle edema, which will only increase the pathogenesis of Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Following these food choices are efficient if they're consumed regularly, and they're extremely important in order to reduce the progression of the disease and also to reduce the obesity that is often seen in these patients. So on my screen, I have a list of the typical nutritional requirements for a patient or for a boy of this age, age 11, um, with a more sedentary lifestyle. But because of the need for a higher protein diet, I would recommend a little shift in nutritional requirements so that you would want 20 to 40% of your calories to be protein, 35 to 50% of calories to be carbohydrates, and then 20 to 30% of calories to be fat. And as I mentioned, it's really important to have a low sodium diet. So I would recommend less than 1000 milligrams per day. Other than that, a lot of the other vitamins and foods should stay pretty on track with the typical diet of an 11 year old. Um, but you may want to consider an increased amount of vitamin D and an increased amount of calcium, as I mentioned earlier. And of course, you want to continue to limit the amount of added sugars and the amount of trans and saturated fats, because those will help to contribute um, to some weight loss. Lastly, I created a sample menu for a day for a patient with Duchenne muscular dystrophy. And you'll see throughout this menu that it's going to be very high protein, high calcium, and um, high fiber, because those are really the most important aspects of a diet for someone with DMD. So for breakfast, I have one cup of yogurt, which will provide a lot of calcium, um, two eggs scrambled, which will provide that lean meat, and then one cup of fresh fruit and one cup of orange juice, will, which will provide some healthy carbohydrates along with some vitamin D and calcium in that orange juice. For lunch, I have one cup of milk, uh, one cup of tuna salad, one cup of some mixed vegetables such as carrots or cucumbers, and one apple. And again, the apple and the vegetables will promote a high fiber diet, and the milk and tuna salad will provide some protein along with some calcium. And fish is a really good source of omega-3, which could be very important to people with muscular dystrophy. And then lastly, for dinner, I have a chicken breast, one cup of, again, some mixed vegetables. This time I recommended green beans and cauliflower because you want leafy greens and legumes. And then one quarter cup of whole wheat pasta with sauce because, again, you want those healthier carbohydrates. You want whole wheat rather than white. Um, and then the chicken breast is one of the best sources of protein that is healthy and also will provide a lot, a lot of protein for a patient. Um, so a diet typically will include a lot of protein, a lot of milk and yogurt and calcium, and then a lot of fiber. I hope this was helpful. Um, thank you.